what's up guys. In this video series, we're gonna show you how to train your workers and how to provide good, clean leadership on your job sites. Stick around, we'll show you how you do it. What's up guys, my name's Aaron, we're here in our shop, and I've wanted to put this series together for uh, uh, quite a long time now. It's a series on how to train guys. Training guys is one of the things that I really, I enjoy doing it. I love to see guys uh, come in and start to gain skills and knowledge. And then when they gain skills and knowledge, I'm able to pay them more. And then when I pay them more, they create value for the company and we make more profit. So it's a win-win. And actually when I train a guy and he, he gets better, his family wins, society wins, things are better for his life, he brings a more positive attitude to the company. So training guys is something that I really think is an important part of what uh, a construction company needs to do, whether it's any type of construction or roofing like us. Training the guys is like, it, to, to me, it's, it's a crucial part. And so when I hire a guy, I don't just try to hire a guy and give him a job. When I hire a guy, I tell him that what I'm gonna give him is a career in the trades. So not only am I gonna give him just a skill set of just craftsmanship skills, but they're also gonna get life skills that are gonna help them no matter where, whether they work for me or not. They, the skills that they're gonna get from me, they can take those skills and go straight to another job and be successful there. So that's really what my idea is when I go to train a guys. So in this video series, what I'm gonna try to do is show you how I train guys, how I get them started, and the, the quickest and the easiest way to do that. All right guys, so a couple of just reasons. If you're thinking to yourself like, well, why do I wanna train guys that's hard to do and it's a big investment? Well, there are some big time reasons why you should probably rethink that idea and you should probably start training guys in your company. Number one reason why I think that every company should train guys is because in my opinion, that's the way that you build your brand. When you've got hand-picked guys and you've trained them the way that you want it done and they're running the product lines that you've went to the market and picked out and think are a best fit for the customer base that you're specifically targeting, that is how you build a brand. Then those guys go out, they do a knockout job for you, they, they, they make the customer happy, the job looks good when you're done and you build your brand. You build your own particular, special, unique brand tailored to your target customer. The customer that you wanna work for, you tailor everything you got for those type of people, the ideal situation, and you build your brand. I've always thought it was impossible for guys to build brands using sub crews that everybody else uses. I've never understood that and we don't do that. I've got my own guys doing my processes the way that I think they should be done that fits our customer base and it's a way to build your brand. All right guys, the next big reason why you wanna train guys and have an in-house crew of just skilled workers that are at your disposal is because of the cost. With sub crews, what I find is that sub crews, you know, if they're busy, their price goes up. If they're slow, their price comes down. And then with timing, you're basically at their mercy. You might sell a job, but you might not be able to get that job done until the sub crew gets freed up from working for your competition. So when you have a, your own in-house crew, not only do I control cost, of, of what it costs me and I know what exactly it's gonna cost me to put a job on, I also get to, I have control of my scheduling. So for example, I don't have to wait. If emergency comes up, I can move my guys to this job, we can do this. I don't have to call a sub back and well, they're on another job and they're, they're here, they're there. No, I don't have any of that. I can control my cost and I can control my schedule. That's an important fact. That's an important reason why to train a, a crew full of guys. All right guys, probably the last reason and a super important reason to train guys is because the guy that we all wanna hire, like that hardworking family man with some kids at home and he's got a house and a wife and that guy's gonna show up and do a good job every day, that guy needs a certain amount of money to operate his life. So he's gotta go to a place or a company that can afford to pay him what it's gonna cost for him to operate his life. Now, if that particular guy, even though he has a lot of potential in construction, if he doesn't have experience, it's hard to pay them that type of money, especially if they don't have the experience. So you end up passing on a lot of these good, uh, the, these, these well-rounded, good life skill employees because they just, they're too expensive and it's gonna, there's a big discrepancy between what that guy's worth and what you can afford to pay him now because of his lack of experience. Now, if you've got a good training program, you can go ahead and hire that guy, you can train him quick, and you can get that guy up to speed so that you can close the gap between the value that he creates and what it costs you. So you might be underwater with that guy for three to six months, maybe maybe less if you're if you're a good trainer, but you'll pull a good guy if he's smart and he's can and he can do the job, he can understand, you can 
quickly shift the dynamic to where now he is worth that extra money that you needed to pay him. And he was a well worth it investment for you because you were able to train him and get him up to speed. And now he's working out for your company. All right, guys, so who are these videos gonna be for? Well, obviously, if you run a business, if you operate a small business, if you're a superintendent, if you're a foreman, they're for you. But if you're a worker out there and you're just thinking to yourself, man, I'd like to learn how to train, I would encourage you to watch these videos. You could gain some knowledge today, and if you have the leadership and the communication skills and the training, you could learn something today, and you could turn around, and you could train that new guy on your job tomorrow. You could start practicing, and you could move quickly up the ladder. Now, I tell my guys, if, if I haven't trained them guys by the time they're in their mid, mid 40s, if I haven't trained them to be a superintendent on some big job or some big crew, or maybe for me, maybe we blow up and I have 10, 20 superintendents out in the field and we're just a giant behemoth company, hopefully that's the case. But if I'm not, I tell all my guys all the time, I say, hey, if I haven't trained you to become like a top notch superintendent, then I haven't done my job. If you're just a worker out there, and, and you watch these videos, you could train yourself. You can take this knowledge and put this stuff to work. So if you're just a worker, don't just say, well, this is for the boss. Don't think like that. Take the information, put it to use in your company. Man, you will, I'm telling you, leadership and construction, you can reach out and you can take it, you can do it. It's, it's simple if you want to. So hopefully these videos will help you guys. Stick around, we're gonna, this is the intro video. We're gonna put out several more. And the, each video will keep it short to the point, and we'll try to get you guys training some guys up really quick. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.